Man oh man, they just keep getting younger and younger, don't they? Today, Drill Music's newest dynamo and childhood prodigy is the man, oh, sorry, I meant to say kid, that we know as Sugar Hill d -Dot. This youngster has just barely entered his teenage years, and he's already throwing around more money on social media than the rest of us are likely to see in our lifetimes. Wait a minute, did this 14 year old just call me broke? But that isn't to say that everything has been perfect during this kid's rapid ascension. In fact, it was only a couple months ago that he had to find a way with dealing with the passing of one of his closest friends, fellow teenage rapper Nadi Osama. What exactly happened to DDOT's closest pal in the music industry, and how did this literal adolescent climb up the ranks of the drill scene so damn quick? If you want to find out the answer to those questions and a whole lot more, then stay tuned to our latest edition of Before They Were Famous. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that that you don't ever miss a single one of our episodes. Plus doing those three things really helps with our channel's growth. And without further ado, let's get right into today's story. Sugar Hill D-Dot was born on March 8th, 2008. Yeah, Sugar Hill D-Dot is a youngster, but with that being said, he's occasionally discussed his earlier days during a few interviews that he's been a part of up until this point in his career. And this is what we've managed to discover. For one thing, he was born to a Dominican family that made their home in Harlem Sugar Hill. Bordering Jackie Robinson Park, the neighborhood of Sugar Hill earned its name in the 1920s when it became a popular place for wealthy African Americans to live during what's known as the Harlem Renaissance. That's when prominent black artists like Duke Ellington and Cab Calloway, not to mention civil rights activists like Thurgood Marshall and Roy Wilkins would move in and begin calling the 75 acre area home. And while large sections of Sugar Hill are relatively affluent, that's not to say that's everybody's experience growing up there. I mean, it certainly wasn't for DDOT, who has spent a considerable amount of time in his life hustling on the neighborhood streets simply to survive, or at least he likes to present himself as such. And let's not forget here, ladies and gentlemen, this kid is still 13 years old. There's no denying that he likes to play rough, and at times, very rough. Am I allowed to say that? He's only 14. I don't know who I'm smoking on. Oh! Ooh. What the It's too early. Word to my dad. Nah, Jay, word to my dad. Rip that I shirt. Nah, I will really fuck you up. Say you Shut the fuck up. I told oh! you. You say you smoking you my dad. Word to my dad. I'm punching you. Where's my dad, dog? Bro, what are you doing with Zha? You like 12, bro. After spending his earliest days of his childhood enjoying quality television programs like Nickelodeon's The Fairly Odd Parents, D Dot got his first taste of behind the scenes of the music industry when he got caught up in Fox's popular hip hop series, Empire. While D Dot says he didn't listen to all that much music as a kid, he did occasionally get down to some old school Tupac. And when he wasn't listening to Tupac, he would throw on some Chris Brown classics. That's range. Yeah. Your goats are Chris Brown and Tupac. Yeah, like the range, youngin. Growing up, like, I used to listen to, like, old niggas. Like, R.P., Tupac. Like, first off, fuck you. Click and clank. For me? What you know about Tupac? Little did he know that soon enough he would be churning out some classics of his own. Sugar Hill D Dot was largely inspired to pick up a microphone for the very first time after watching a number of his friends and associates around the block earn themselves a reputation in the suddenly exploding drill rap market. I'm talking names like E Dot Baby and Shy K, who would oftentimes invite D Dot to show up in the background to their music videos, even when he wasn't performing. It was E Dot Baby in particular who took D Dot under his wing and told the kid to consider taking rap more seriously. Well, something he said must have gotten through because rather than wait around until he was a little bit older, Sugar Hill D Dot began hitting the booth to record his own stuff. Now, yeah, my son E Dot has really my heart right there. My son really made me like, you to tell me like, yo, take that serious. And I, back then, I never used to take that serious. I used to do mad chillers and shit. He started off his career with a few viral clips over on Triller before releasing his first real music on YouTube and SoundCloud, with singles like Too Tact and Everybody Shot, as well as Evil Twins, where he performed alongside his good friend and fellow early adolescent, Nadi Osama. But before we do, I want to finish out laying out the arc of this kid's career. After establishing himself as someone who is capable of spitting some truly sick bars on the mic, Sugar Hill D-Dot would release a couple of music videos on Raps and Hustle's YouTube channel before striking out on his own channel and dropping singles like Reality, Warzone, and I Wanna Love You, all of whom now regularly earn stream counts in the hundreds of thousands. 
Then, in the summer of 2022, he'd team up with Nadia Osama to record a follow-up to Evil Twins, appropriately entitled Evil Twins Part 2. But only weeks before he was set to release the accompanying music video to that track, tragedy would strike and DDOT would find himself taking the biggest loss of his young life. To this point in his career, DDOT's most common partner in crime when it comes to music has been the 14-year-old rapper known as Nadia Osama, whose real name is Ethan Reyes. Police say on Saturday there was some sort of dispute on the street that trickled into the 137th Street City College train station. Eventually, an altercation led to Reyes being stabbed at least once in the stomach. The exact reasoning for this altercation has not been revealed, but the police have alluded to the accused having been confronted by Nadi and other associates while waiting for the City College subway station. During his attempt to flee the situation, the accused individual stabbed Reyes and then made his escape. He was later arrested by police and charged with first-degree manslaughter and criminal possession as the entire thing was caught on surveillance footage. Osama was one of six children and he wasn't the only rapper in his family. His older brother, Didi Osama, is also a promising and up-and-coming voice in the drill rap genre. In fact, Nadi and Didi have both appeared alongside D Dot in music videos to tracks like Two Tact as well as 40s and 9s. Needless to say, Nadi's death hit DDOT particularly hard, as he considered him to be as close a brother as he could possibly get without being blood-related, and DDOT says that he damn near lost his mind when he first heard the news of what happened. I mean, who wouldn't? Losing my like, mind. Gonna be a man at that time? I was like losing my mind at the moment. For me, it's my brother right there. I love his soul. Man, he, know, he know what's up, bro. He know. He knows now, this young kid is more determined than ever to succeed and accomplish his ultimate goal of taking over the Bronx drill scene, not only for himself, but for his fallen friend as well. You gotta respect that. Will Sugar Hill D Dot live up to these high expectations for himself, or will he ultimately get lost in the ever increasing crowded landscape of drill music? We're just gonna have to wait and see how things shake out. I mean, after all, this is before they were famous. Thank you everybody for watching today's episode. Please let us know what you thought in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you're alerted as soon as we drop new content. And if you'd like to check out a few other entries in this series, then search for our looks on Trap Boy Freddy, Set the Trend, and Lil. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another episode. I can't believe this 14-year-old's got more money than me, man. It's crazy. The rappers are getting younger, and they get more money than me. Like, it's crazy. Whatever. Congra congratulations, D-Dot. <laughs> me sounding like a hater.